All right, and uh, here we go again. Um, you have Mr. Law Jones coming at you. Got a brand new video for you. Uh, hope all is well with you. Hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoyed your time with your loved ones and everything. Um, some it might be a little bit of sweet for some people. Um, some may not be a little bit bittersweet for me. It was pretty good overall, but it was bittersweet. So, um, you know, so like I said, you know, just still kind of, you know, dealing with the loss of my parents and stuff. They've been gone away about a, about a little over a year now. So uh, it just seems like yesterday that they left, but uh, never not easy. Uh, they say it gets better, but um, some days I have some good days and I have some bad days and sometimes I have some downright rough and ugly days. But uh, anyway, just got a little different video today here. Um, got a nice little Christmas gift here. Uh, this was got for me, my partner in crime. Um, I don't need to say no names or anything like that. I definitely appreciate this. Is this was unexpected. Um, definitely grateful. Um, so yeah, what I what I got here. This is a Ray, uh, Ryobi uh, 1600 psi. This is an electric pressure washer. So um, sometimes I build motors, and of course I wash cars and stuff too. Uh, definitely like to do that. So. Um, it's been times where I don't have that equipment where sometimes I have to go to the store and rent out like a pressure washer and stuff and you know that can kind of get up there quite a bit you know especially since I'm doing it often so I figured like hey you know what so since they thought about to get me a pressure washer so I guess they you know I guess they heard me enough talking about it so it was like oh well maybe I get them this here that's great I definitely appreciate this here so I'm um, definitely looking forward to trying this out here with my engine builds uh, my car washer, you know, my car washing, excuse me, and um, anything else, you know, um, this could be used for like, you know, cleaning cider on your house, uh, windows, porches, you know, so forth. Um, but yeah, what I'm doing today here, this is a little different video from what I'm normally doing because I'm usually doing the auto repair videos and stuff and I'm trying to get a little bit better at it. And, um, you know, I definitely appreciate the new subscribers. But if you haven't subscribed to this channel uh, as of yet, you know, please do so. You know, I'm definitely trying to get a little bit better doing more videos and making better videos, you know. So um, I've only been into the YouTube game probably about, hmm, about almost a year. So I'm not the greatest. I'm <laughs> damn sure ain't the worst, I'm sure. So, um, but anyway. Uh, I'm just going to do an unboxing video of what I got here. So, like I said, this is a Ryobi uh, electric pressure washer, 1600 PSI. Um, and this is a foam blaster here that was that was gotten too. Uh, since I tend to wash my cars and stuff and, and everything else, I'm definitely, definitely excited about trying it out and see how it works out. So, um, this here wasn't bought like this here. I actually had dropped it or whatever. So, hope there's nothing broke inside of it. So, um, but yeah, like I so I'm going to go ahead and take it loose i had already kind of cut the tape off already uh one of the things here um i guess if you need like you know customer service here they do leave a number down here for it which i like it it came with a three-year warranty as well too so uh which is very good so i don't think i need to do an extended warranty right away i was you know they always ask you do you want to do it uh it looks like it has a oh so let me get out the light i know it's kind of sunny out here but it comes like a quick reference guide um comes with that um there's a wand right here um right that's that's the one of the ones that goes up to it and uh of course here's a unit right here this thing got a little weight to it it's not really light and it's not too heavy i mean like you know uh -oh, make a little noise so let's pull it over here and uh so this one here this can kind of hook up to your um what i do like about this is i've just seen out the gate um you know, it has a GCFI um, on here. So, like I say, if you happen to, you know, trip a breaker or something like that, trip the, you know, trip the power supply, you can reset it. And uh, it's not three-pronged. So, this is going to any, like, household um, plug in your home. So, um, comes with the uh, comes with the operator's manual here. Um, we've got to get some more other attachments that comes with that. Um, there's a handle, of course, which is this here. So, it looks like it's pretty good quality. So, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to trying it out. Um, and then, of course, there's a hose, too. So, um, you can get bigger holes here. Um, I don't know exactly what length of holes this is. All right, let's check it out. Let's see. Do really got anything on here? Uh, so, it looks like there's some other attachments right here to hook up, um, to hook up the hoses and stuff to it there. So, I'm going to sit those right there. And uh, that's it on that one. So let's see. This is dropping so clumsy today. What's wrong with me? 
Um, but okay, so yeah, there we go. So it's pretty much just, you know, pretty much just straightforward to the point. So if you want, um, so like I said, if you just want abrasive, so which I like that. So it does have an abrasive setting and then it has a gentle setting too, where I guess you can plug into either or on this machine here. So like I said, I'm definitely gonna look into it. And then it also has like nozzle selection guide, which is very good uh, for somebody who's, you know, maybe doing this here for the first time or, <clears throat> You know whatever so it even has like a several different things you can utilize with it so uh, which is very really really good so that'd be good for somebody so you don't have to go high pressure and kind of mess up your vehicle if you're washing it so um just got like another another warning right here that's in um in spanish here so which is very good um like i said it's got the cord right here which i do like it's really thick so i um, really think it's not lightweight at all so i think that'll work out really nice and uh and lastly here so this is the foam blaster right here so this will be used when i get ready to like say wash windows or mainly um oh excuse me you know wash my cars or my truck or something and you know so that way i had that clean so um so this is it here so that's the glass unit there it looked like they put like a like a four ounce sample of uh foam blaster in there um, I'll make sure I put these uh make sure I put these uh part numbers and stuff into the description of this video below uh after I get down filming. And uh so yeah you can actually adjust this here so you can actually shut this off. So um which is not you know moves good and tight so it's not loose or flimsy or anything like that, which I do like that. So if you need soap, just flip it up and then if you don't need the soap, flip it off, which is pretty simple. Uh look like this here just screws in like the top of it screws into the jar right here, so um, which is good on that one and then, of course it has the you know attachment instructions right here on it so this is just pretty just pretty self-explanatory so i'm gonna read that a little bit more i tend to read this stuff here because you know i like to do this stuff one time and don't have to worry about it so um i'm not gonna power it up yet so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna kind of look through the you know just kind of look through the instruction a little bit more and get it set up and you know try it out on live and just see how it does with cleaning up you know cleaning the house or washing the car or something but um like i said yeah this is a different video you know as i normally do do i usually kind of lean towards more doing more auto automotive stuff but this here like i said the cord alone long enough so this would be good for what i'm needed for uh like i said i just use just you know like i said clean my windows wash my cars you know that just be perfect for this here so you want to go industrial with it so hopefully i'll be able to clean my motors with it too when i you know as the time arrives but um but anyway um this is all this is all going to kind of wrap up my video for today um if you got any questions or anything like that please feel free to reach out to me um like i said just make sure you like the you know like the video and um, i'll be back with many more y'all take it easy enjoy your holiday and uh i will talk with you soon all right, here we go back again. Got Mr. Law Jones back at you. Um, I actually ended up doing a part two of this video here. Um, I actually just did a video a few minutes ago. Uh, I'm boxing this right OB uh, 1600 PSI electric pressure washer. Um, this is bought for me as a Christmas gift. Uh, as I said, you know, uh, someone special to me bought it for me. I'm really appreciated. This is very unexpected. I'm very happy about it so far. Uh, it, you know, kind of shows some of the attachments and things that came with it. And uh, I was just like, okay, you know, let me just go ahead and hook it up. So, end up getting it together. Uh, only thing about electric, you know, like I said, of course, you know, you just had to put it somewhere where it's not in the water. Uh, one of the things that Ralby did, because I guess they kind of uh, compensated that it would be in water, and uh, they put a really thick, um, well wrapped uh, electric cl plug on this thing here. So, that way you don't have to worry about getting shocked. But of course, I recommend just kind of keeping it out of the water as much as possible. Um, so what I had to do was, uh, end up hooking up the regular garden hose right here, how it hooks up to the unit. And then on the pressure washer end, uh, it came with about, about 25 or so feet of hose that comes with it. And, uh, you hook it up on the other end. And then of course, you know, only way you know it's working, it's going to have a green light on right here. So that's how you know it's working, which, I, which is currently on right now. Um, and then right here, this way your soaps and stuff goes into right there. Uh, you do low pressure soap, uh, high pressure no soap. So uh, does definitely have the settings on it. So what I was gonna do, uh, one of the other things I wanted to point out was uh, they did put like a little guard on here that I like that Ralby did too. So like if you say if you got kids or something like that, they get curious, they want to touch stuff and play with it. At least if this thing is down, they can do that. But one thing about it, it's not really that strong. It's strong, but it'll hold as long as it stays down. 
but say like it could flip down or anything like that i don't see it doing it right right away probably as you get used to it uh get some use on this unit it probably will kind of you know just flop around or something but right now that's perfect i like that um but like i said yeah so i just happen to do this here but it does lock in place like this here as such and then as you need it just kind of flip it down just like that so uh what i was gonna do i didn't put no soap or anything in it so it's one of the cars that we do have this is a 2014 azera and uh i'm just gonna spray, you know, just spray some water on it and just kind of show you that it does work so it don't take much trigger to it so as you hear it down there you hear the motor so we're just gonna go ahead and do it and see it works like this so you see this is perfect like if you got like a car and you're on car washing and stuff and you may not want to go to a, a car wash in your neighborhood you may want to do this up at your house or whatever you know so this is perfect for this here The, the, uh, the holes that they give you is long enough to kind of do around the whole entire car, which I do like that. You see, mine just just straight water on here, so. You see, I'm going around the whole car. I ain't gonna get everything, I'm gonna go on the other side to do it. But you kind of get a good example of where the, you know, where I'm doing right here. So I go around the whole side and do that one. So the dirt that you see right down there on these uh on these newer cars they have GDI motors so uh all it is is number of carbon that comes out the exhaust every single car that's manufactured today um they all have this here they're gonna have that soot that comes out of there i hate that. but other than that just the way of the future so everybody going with it what if you go gm uh honda hyundai uh toyota they all doing it so can't get away from it but when we're on the other side here like we're doing right now just throw this up here that's pretty much it on this here but um one thing with the rival unit it does have like several attachments that come with this here it does have a high pressure one on here i wouldn't recommend that you use it on your car uh this nozzle what i got on right here this be perfect for like wash your car or you know doing your siding or something like that uh, let me show you those other attachments that came with this here too this case, this unit. Okay, and so this is one of two attachments that came with this here. So you have one that's going to be, so this is going to be your high pressure side right here, which is most likely it. So, and like I said, whenever you need this here, um, I don't know what's going to happen, but we'll try to take it off right now. See if it makes sure the water don't spew out on me here. That'd make a mess, wouldn't it? Okay, so it doesn't, okay, so that's good. So at least water don't come out of it. So we just put this in and such like this here, locks in place. I won't do this on a car, I just do this on the concrete because I'm not. Yeah, so this is going to be the high pressure one right here. Hey, see if you want to clean the driveway, you can do that too. You get in the services and stuff like that. So this thing really good around the house, like I said. This thing will be like, this one will replace industrial strangers at all. But like I said, if you're just doing like stuff what I do, I build engines, uh, wash the cars, you know, clean the house and stuff like that, this would be more than perfect for this here. So, I did a little bit on the car. I did on this car here. This is the oldest car here. One of them, so. So that's it. So that's how that kind of works right there. So, um, so far, I'm very impressed with it. Um, I thought this was a good pick. I've been wanting one for a while. And uh, I got surprised with one. And uh, this is another attachment here too. So this might be, that might be high pressure. I don't think this was it, but let's take that off real quick. 
I will try them all. You know, since it's like, you know, doing one, don't do them all, right? This one here is made out of total plastic here, so be careful when you hook this up here. And we'll spray that down. Okay, so that's, so that's definitely going to be a little all the way there. So, yeah, that's it. Ain't nothing to pressure there, so that's low pressure there all day long there. So, um, that's for like something real, real delicate. And lastly here, so this is a foam uh, blaster here. This is the attachment for this. This is strictly for like wash your car and stuff. So that's what this is used for here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and hook that up real quick while we got it, while we got it down. So we'll just hook this up as such. Put this attachment here. Let's go in here. Push it down a little bit. Okay, make sure it's good and tight. And we'll go ahead and we'll just add a little bit. We add a little bit of soap to it. So we're doing this on we doing this on camera right now. See how this stuff turns out. So let's see. See if I got some keys or something. You know, we don't never have no blade or anything like that. I usually keep like a little screwdriver here. So that's why I usually keep it here. I love this little screwdriver, but it messed up some of my pockets on some of my pants too, right? So they say six in one hand, half a dozen in the other. But anyway, uh, let's pour a little bit of this down in here. And actually, actually on this uh, cup right here, you can actually put up to eight ounces of soap in here. But since I, since this was bought with this here, they included a little sample. I guess to try it out. I guess see if you like it. So we'll just put uh we'll put about half of this here, maybe close to it, and just just trying to see how it works. Then, like I said, if it works out, then you know that's something that I add to the list of stuff when I get ready to wash cars and everything. So, okay, and so this here will go up in here, such just screw this on. Well, make sure that you get this on right so you don't cross thread it. Cross thread, you're gonna be in trouble. All right, so just turn this on like this here. So just like when you need the soap on here, you can just throw it out that way. You throw it out that way and you need soap. There you go, real soap right here. Oh man, okay. That's the soap right there. Okay, so that's the soap right there. And I uh, only just put like two ounces in here, so it's almost did this whole car. So I'm sure, like with a four ounce sample right there, I probably will get some more. Let me see how it kind of turns out. right there that I use that sample that they enclosed with the kit and uh so which is really good so and like I said what I do like about it thus far it does have it where you can just shut it off where you don't have to use any soap so that way when you shut this off it doesn't um the pressure washer doesn't suck up any soap or anything like that you can just use this here just to use you know use it to rinse off so we'll try that setting real quick and see if it comes out that way work out too it works that way as well too so that's good to know that so um, I'm gonna take this off and rinse the soap off of here so I'm gonna put the other attachment back on the original one and uh, we'll rinse the soap off and, and that'll be it all right 
so that was best if you're doing pressure washers or if you're washing your own car, that would be better to do it the top and work down. Alright, we're going to do the top and the Trying to get my get my holes untangled out. There we go. All right. So that's it. So we uh, got everything rinsed off over. That's what was really thick on here. It took a little time to get it off, but uh, it's off of there. Just still got a couple of places I still need to hit up. Um, but other than that, so far, after trying it out, doing the test out, I'm um, very impressed with it. Um, this will work very well for what I, you know, for what I use it for. Uh, like I said, I build engines from time to time. Uh, I wash my cars often, so uh, if I'm not in somewhere's car wash or if I'm not doing it myself outside. Um, this is definitely going to speed up my time a lot, so uh, definitely appreciate it. Um, like I said, where I'll be, like I said, uh, y'all got a good product right here. Uh, they do have they do have all the uh, PSI ratings on here. I think the next one out this here, they have a 1900 PSI. 
I think they have like 26 and then of course they had the industrial size too so which would go to like about 35 or 4,000 psi but this would be more than enough for what I needed for here so um, but anyway if you got any other questions anything like that just feel free to reach out to me um, like I said if you haven't done so already just make sure you subscribe to the channel I try to put out more videos out here trying to get better videos out here and uh, but like I said if I don't make a video before New Year's uh, y'all have a happy new year and uh wishing everybody prosperity y'all take care